I love the opportunity to learn about new behaviours and just new habitats that we just haven't learnt about before. So it's that opportunity to discover something new about the sea that can help protect it. Ma culture familiale, c'est de, de pêcher. Donc j'aime pêcher. Mais euh, aujourd'hui, la pêche, c'est presque un, un, un prétexte pour aller à la mer. Donc la première chose, c'est aller à la mer et être sous l'eau. Clairement, c'est euh, être peut-être dans un autre monde, euh, mais être aussi dans des conditions euh, physiques qui font que quand tu es dans l'eau, tu n'as pas les mêmes contraintes. Et il y a très certainement euh, un sentiment de, de, de liberté ou de, de lâcher prise. Euh, et puis surtout, quand tu es dans l'eau, tu ne penses à rien sauf au plaisir d'être dans l'eau. Et je suis toujours très grateful que I can do that work uh, as, as marine biologists nowadays we are mainly uh, working on the laptops and uh, working in offices so I'm always very happy to be near the sea or at sea. So people often ask me so what are you doing what is acoustic telemetry? Alors le suivi acoustique des poissons uh, réalisé par télémétrie acoustique consiste à équiper, à implanter des marques acoustiques, des émetteurs qui vont émettre des sons à l'intérieur de, de poissons. Acoustic tracking literally means using tags that use sound. So, in essence, we're tagging fish with devices that go, hey, I'm number three over here, hey, I'm number three over here. And the acoustic tags that are yelling out this identity message have to be heard. So we install a network of listening stations. When we look at the whole network, you know, we will learn how the species might be using lots of different habitats between lots of different countries. Les poissons n'ont pas de frontières, ne connaissent pas de frontières. Donc, il est dans le cadre du projet Fish and Tell, nous avons travaillé en, en collaboration avec des partenaires anglais dans un programme interreg France, Manche, Angleterre. I think for for me it, it was at the beginning I was very skeptical on the project, but finally I found this uh, acoustic quite interesting uh, uh, tool, and uh, I think it it has something to give for the future of European. Uh, fisheries and ecosystem-based management. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting and uh, I found that fishers, they are also interesting. Ah, moi, la, la, la partie, euh, dans, bah, dans, mon, dans mon poste actuel au comité des pêches, la partie que je préfère, c'est bah, les échanges euh, avec euh, les marins pêcheurs, que ce soit sur des projets ou ré récolter leur avis et euh, échanger avec euh, les scientifiques. All the fisher we met, all they think that uh, they are forget, forgotten by any, everybody. And uh, by going and speaking with them and ask uh, their uh, knowledge and so on, and this acoustic device, uh, it uh, can help them to understand the behavior of the species too, differently. Ils sont aussi heureux ou aussi curieux que nous. Et c'est vraiment un travail en collaboration en fait. Donc il n'y a pas un avant et un après, c'est euh, depuis le début, on travaille ensemble. Et, euh, et je, je, je vois bien qu'on a les mêmes objectifs et on travaille pour en tout cas. Et, et, et mieux connaître nos, nos espèces, c'est euh, euh, ce, ce que je veux obtenir. Mais les pêcheurs, ils veulent avoir les mêmes résultats en fait. Donc c'est pour ça qu'il n'y a pas d'opposition et bien au contraire, c est, c est, on, on marche ensemble. Oui, oui, oui. We work together. <laughs> we have the, the nature, which is the basis of everything. But of course, we also have economies going on. And we need to find a balance on, on, um, to make sure that both thrive. And that's what we try to do in this project. We hope that managers will use, use the information as evidence for new ambitious management plans that will um, protect areas of seabed rather than just relying on quotas of fish. So rather than just managing fish stocks, we'll start to protect the, the habitats that they're depending on.
Fish, if you like, are fantastic indicators of healthy marine ecosystems and our seas around us are changing a lot at the moment, both through storms, through political change, through climate change. So we need to know a lot about these fish and particularly about their movements between countries and across water bodies like the Channel um, because we need to be adaptive in the way that we manage these fish if we're to keep them around in the future to support fisheries, livelihoods, tourism and all the other wonderful things that we, we have our fish populations uh, valued so highly for. For the future we need to, to better manage uh, the resources but also the whole ecosystem if we want to keep it for the next generation. Fish Intel is amazing because it's the largest acoustic telemetry network in Europe. It's connecting three countries, multiple species, but it's still one area of sea. And actually these species we expect are probably foraging over even wider distances. So what's next is to connect even more countries and more arrays. Mais au final, je pense que c'est développer un tel outil à, à, à des ambitions beaucoup plus grandes, euh, pas seulement pour le suivi de, de, de cette espèce sur laquelle on travaillait, mais sur plein d'autres espèces. Et donc comprendre euh, l'écologie spatiale euh, de, de, de l'ensemble des ressources halieutiques. I think my hope from the Fish Intel project is that having these collaborative international networks of receivers will really take off even bigger and even better across Europe. Every time we're tracking animals like this, we need to be joining this data up together to get the best idea of what our animals are really doing, to understand the quality of our waters, how to manage them to make that quality even better, um, and also to connect together the different researchers doing the work. So that means researchers from different countries, but also different disciplines as well. So that's really the future for me, and Fish Intel is, is, a, is catalyzing that change.